Hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today we are starting uh, a series of videos that will allow technical traders uh, to master the top-down trading method or the different time frame trading method or the multiple time frame uh, trading method. All right. We are recording uh, this uh, series of video because uh, ATSTWSYS. 008 trader uh, did ask me okay uh, to explain more all right the top down trading method all right so i'm going to record a short video hopefully will be short all right i will record probably five videos so this series of video will be composed of five videos and i will go to different scenario uh, to explain to trader what they need to understand when they want to master uh, the top down trading method all right so let's get uh, started now the top down trading method consists of using different time frame so the general rules is to use three times frame all right so a lot of traders may think that okay i already know this so if you already know it i encourage you to still watch this video so you may understand more all right how to apply a top down uh, trading method first thing first it's very easy to understand uh, the top-down trading method, all right? But it's not easy to master it, all right? So you may say, what's the point? What you need to do, you need to be very patient with yourself, understand that it will take some time before you master it. You will quickly understand the different time frame trading method, which a lot of traders do understand that you must use different time frames, all right, to analyze the chart. But to master it and use it properly, it will take time. So you go to the trials, okay, the learning process, all right. So you may make some mistake, but do not give up. Why do I mean by do not give up? I'm not saying that I'm not saying to keep losing when you are trying. Use a demo account and set a goal to master it and be patient with yourself and slowly but gradually you get there. Even if you start, okay, you are struggling at the beginning, all right? That's the way it goes, all right? So today in the first video, I want to talk about, okay, we, we want to use three time frame, all right? So the example that I want to give here is a suppose, all right? Uh, there is a trend on the uh, first time frame, which is the higher time frame. If you are using, for instance, the daily chart, suppose there is a trend like here, so the price displaying higher lows, higher high in this uh, rising channel, all right? So here it is. In the, I'm talking about this blue channel here, all right? So the price form uh, this uh, funny high here, followed by a higher low. All right, and then we have again a new higher high, and here it is, it's retesting, okay, the trend line here. Now you want to apply top-down trading method to trade it. What, you want, what, you, what we are trying to do is this. If there is a bullish trend, all right, and we want to buy using a three time frame, all right, the first thing that we want to ascertain and verify on a higher time frame is the trend still in place, all right? If the trend is still in place, we will wait for the second, on the, you see here, this is the second time frame, we will wait for a pullback, all right? So you see the channel, if you're looking at the channel like this, here it is, if you confirm that it's a bullish trend, this is it. The trend is in place. That's the arrow that I'm showing you here, all right? But in order to buy, talking about a long-term trend, so we are using long-term trend, medium-term trend, all right? And a short-term trend. So the higher term frame, we may consider that as a long-term trend. Not definitely long, but we call it that way, all right? So if you are using a daily chart as your higher time frame, you are considering the daily chart as your long term trade, your long term okay uh, time frame. All right. So if there is a bullish trend, a long term term trend on your first time frame, which is the higher time frame for you, in this case daily chart, 
That's the arrow there, okay? In order to buy, we want the price to pull back, which means we want the price to pull back, all right, during the trend, okay? And if the medium term trend, so the second time frame, so for a daily chart, the medium term trend, the medium time frame is the hourly time frame. All right? So there is a trend on the higher time frame. If the medium, we go to the medium time frame, and there was a pullback, and the medium term, okay, trend, is aligning with uh, the long-term trend, we have a signal. Stay with me, please, all right? So the price going up, the trend is in place on a higher time frame. Long-term trend, trend, bullish. Okay, we want to buy. But if for us to buy, we want a pullback, which means there is, a, okay, a contra trend. So if there is a pullback. But the trend is going up, but there is a pullback. Good. If there is a pullback, like it is here, we go to the second time frame, waiting for the signal. One example, there are many ways we can use signal, but what I'm saying here, we are using long-term term trend, medium-term term trend, and short-term term trend. So the signal will be in place on the second time frame when the medium-term trend start aligning with the long-term term trend. So we have a signal, see here, last year, the common center is kaput, okay, on this, uh, this channel, price breaks above that, this common sense trend line, and retest it here, all right? But, you see, I'm still on a daily chart, all right? If the common trend, if you see here, this trend line is broken, we want to pull back, we go to the second time frame, which is the hourly time frame. All right, we can see there. I'll go again, stay with me, please. So I will use this one instead here. If there is a pullback in a knob trend, all right, to the lower part of the channel, like this, we go to the hourly time frame or the medium term time frame, waiting for the medium term trend to align with uh, the long term trend. So here we see a pullback. We know all oh, right, the trend is up, which is the red arrow here. Now there is a pullback. Now we quickly go to the hourly time frame. Here we go to the hourly time frame and the signal will be in place. Here you see, you see this common center that I draw on the daily chart, it's broken. You see, it breaks above and retests it gently here on the hourly time frame. This is a signal here. This is also a signal here because the price form a higher low. What is happening here is that the, on the daily chart, the price is going up, but it pull back. Now we go to the medium term, medium time frame, waiting for the signal, meaning that though the, the trend is up and there is a pullback, if the price start going up again after the pullback on the medium time frame, we have a signal. So the signal will occur when the medium term trend start aligning with the long term term trend after a pullback. Stay with me please, all right? Because I want you to understand it. Now, okay? If the signal is fire as it was here, okay, so with the medium term trend is now aligning, start going up. So before it went down, now it start going up again with medium term trend is aligning, hourly time frame is aligning with the daily chart trend, all right? Now we will go to the entry time frame, which is the short term trend, short term term trend, all right? All right, we don't have enough data here to see my, uh, my the point where we should enter the trend. 
So you will go to the entry time frame. The entry will be when the short term trend trend is aligning with the medium term trend. That's the time when you will enter the trade. I want to pause the video for a second because I want to draw something on my chart, but I don't want the video to be too long, so allow me to pause it for a second while I'm drawing something on my chart, then I'll resume okay, the recording. As I told the traders, we are recording this video because uh, a TST trader did ask a question about how to master a top-down trading method, and I will be recording five videos when I will try my best to explain to traders the different approach one should take when one is applying a top-down trading method. All right, so pausing the video for a second, and I will be... All right, traders, what we are talking about is that we are want to use uh, three time frames. So, talking about a top-down trading method using the long-term term trend, the medium-term trend, and the short-term term trend, all right? So, the medium-term trend are forming the long-term trend. So, for instance, what I meant by that is that if you go, for instance, on a daily chart, you see this channel here, see the price went up, pull back, 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 but it's going up. The long-term trend trend is bullish. But you can see that the, the price action here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all these ups and down, all right, that is happening within the channel, of the long term a trend is what we call the medium term trend so the this is this price action from here to here is, is formed by the medium term trend and it, all right so it's the medium term trend is forming all right the long term trend so you see so one two three four five six seven eight nine price action those are okay each segment of the medium term trend but because the long term term trend is up all right if the medium term trend is down we wait for the medium term trend to start going up which means is now aligning with the long term term trend so this is the situation here if you here, the medium term trend was down. Now it start aligning with the long term trend. The arrow here, that's the long term trend. And here it is, you can see the medium term trend went down. Now it start going up. This is the signal here. All right. Again, you can see it came down again. It start going up again because the long term trend is up. Anytime the medium term trend is aligning with the long term term trend we must buy if the long term term trend is bullish if the long term trend is bearish if the long term trend is bearish and the prior rally in a declining channel all right and start going down again which means the medium term trend is now aligning with the bearish long term trend we will sell in that, at that point in time. That will constitute our bearish signal. But again, there is one more thing. Is that the short-term trend, the short-term trend, are forming the medium-term trend. So, <laughs> are you with me? You see here, the price, you see, it went down here. So, you can see that. This is a medium term trend price action here. All right. If, if I use this one instead, I will use this one instead. This is a medium term trend because it's forming the long term term trend. But the short term trend is also forming the medium term term trend. So 
what I've drawn on my chart. Have I removed something? You will see soon. Is that though? You see, price came down here. Let's go to the hourly time frame. You see here on the hourly time frame, this is a medium term trend. It's going up and down. But you can see again this price action here. You see in in this orange channel is what we call the short term trend that are forming the medium term trend. See, this is the short term trend that are forming, all right, the medium term trend. All right, if I go back again to the daily chart, now you see I have, uh, you see now I have uh, the blue channel, the bigger one, which is the long term term trend, it's going up. But if we color all this into orange, hold on, please. I don't want the video to be too long. All right, each segment of the price action in this uh, channel is what we call the medium term trend. Okay, that are forming the long term term trend. And the signal is in place when the medium term trend is aligning with the long-term -term trend after a contra trend. So what is a contra trend? So if the price going up, the pullback is a contra trend. If the price going down, the rally in a downtrend is the contra trend trend. All right. So here it is. So all these segments that are put in the on the daily chart like this, all right. Those are the medium term trend. But again, you see now, now if we consider one portion of the medium term trend, we will see again that the price is going up and down in the orange channels. It's going up and down, okay? It's going up and down. So the movement of the price within those uh, orange channels are short term term trend. So the medium term trend is forming the long term term trend, so which is at the orange uh, okay, channel that I'm drawing on the chart. Okay. But at the same time, when we look inside any orange channel, the price is still going up and down. And uh, in every orange channel, we have okay the short term trend, the short term trend term okay price action here short term trend oh it's not easy to short term trend price action in the orange channel so i'm going back again to the hourly time frame waiting for my data to come back all right so you get it now so here it is the signal will occur when the medium term trend is now aligning with uh, the long term term trend now the the entry will occur. I want to go to the ten minute time frame. Here it is. The the entry will only enter the trade at the point where the short term trend is aligning with the medium term trend. Long term trend. Long term trend is bullish. All right, go to the second time frame, the medium term trend time frame. Wait for a pullback. Wait for a contra trend. If the price is going up and we see a pullback, we go to the second time frame, the medium term time frame, and we wait for that medium term time frame to start aligning with the long term trend. If that is the case, we have a signal. All right. If we have a signal, now we go to the entry time frame and wait for the short term trend to align with the medium term trend. This is a beautiful, perfect, okay, a top down trading method. I hope I have managed to give you, okay, the first taste of, uh, okay, a top down trading method. As I explained to you at the beginning of this uh, series of video, is that I will record five videos, and this is the first video. 
So you may say, George, uh, I understand it, which is okay because uh, it's easy to understand it. But now, how do we put it into use? It will take time. You need to keep practicing. Don't use real money. Polish it. It will take some time before you master it. All right. Talking about TSTWSYS, use your a trading system. All right. How do we want to use it? You can use, you can look for stochastic pattern, talking about a 2 for SP trading material. You look for a trading setup, okay? Using the 2 for SP trading material, or you use a NISI 2 for trade, you look for any trading setup. All right, okay? And then you will now implement the rules of the TSTWS so you use your 8. So you use the indicators, okay? And then you will trade it. I don't want to go, I don't want to deviate from the topic today. It's about mastering okay, a top-down trading method, a part one, using long-term trend, medium-term trend, and short-term trend, all right? So the long-term trend is bullish. We wait for a pullback. If there is a pullback, we go to the medium-term trend, all right? We wait for the medium-term trend to start aligning with the long-term term trend. Okay, that is the signal. Trend line is broken, breakable, retest on the medium-term time frame. Good. Now we go, because the signal is now fired, we go to the entry time frame. Again, we wait for the short-term trend to start. We want, okay, so we wait for a pullback again on a short term term trend and we want it okay to start aligning with the medium term trend because the medium term trends are forming the long term trends and the short term trends are forming the medium term trend so this is the general okay rules when you want to apply a top down trading method one will use typically three time frame a higher time frame for the trading setup, all right? The signal time frame for the signal and the entry time frame. But what I've been discussing with you at the beginning now, we want to talk about a trend is in place on a higher time frame. We go to the corresponding, okay, medium term trend, all right? And we wait for that medium term trend to start aligning with the long term term trend. If that is the case, we go to the entry time frame and wait for the short term term trend to align with uh, okay the medium term trend and then we'll enter the trade right there what is happening is that we don't want to vary so, so the price in the rising channel on the daily chart okay all right okay we will only buy if we go to the signal time frame and we see something that the price goes down, must go, so we want a contra trend. So usually the price will pull back to the edge of the decline of the of this rising channel somewhere here. Then we go, right, we we'll pull back to the edge. After forming a higher high, we we'll pull back to the edge of this, uh, this channel, and we go to the medium term time frame. And we want a price to come out of that declining channel because it's a contra trend. We want it to start going up, which we start aligning with the direction of the higher time frame is up. We want it to start going up. Start going up. Good. Common set trend line is kaput. Now we go to the entry time frame. We wait again on the entry time frame, a pullback, and we want it to start going up on the entry time frame. And then we buy from there at the point where the common set trend line is kaput. Let's see if I can see one example here. I'm going to go quickly to the daily chart. Because very, very uh, essential question. And I uh, understand why the trader did ask that question. Is because uh, it's quite easy to, all right, to understand the topic, all right, very fast. Anybody can understand a top down trading method in five minutes. But now to implement the strategy, it takes a bit of time. And traders should remain very patient and give themselves enough time 
and all right gently gently so i want to give you one more example here using again a daily chart so here we have a declining channel so what is say happening here the declining channel is telling us that daily chart trend at this junction is bearish but you want to be sure that if she so the best place to start selling is here So here, here it is. So price from a low, okay, all right. That low was followed by a lower high. A lower high was followed by a lower low. We are comparing this low to this one here. Anytime we have a new lower low in the downtrend, the price rally up. This is the contra trend now to the top of the declining channel here. Good. Now we go to the hourly time frame and wait for the hourly time frame to come out of that rising channel and to start going down, which means start aligning with the bearish trend of the daily chart. If we see that on the hourly time frame, now we go to the 10 minute time frame and we want the same thing out of a rising channel and start going down, which means both the medium term trend and the short term term trend are now aligning with the long-term trend, harmoniously, we are swinging it. To simplify all this blah, 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 it's very simple, you see here. If there is a rally in a declining channel after a lower low, there's a rally after a lower low. Here it is, there was a lower low in a declining channel. Now there is a rally to the edge. If the common set line here is kaput, here it is. This is the medium term trend that is forming. Okay, the long term term trend. Go to the hourly time frame at that point in time. What is it? I can see here somewhere. Okay, you go to the hourly time frame at that point in time. Wait for the hourly time frame to start going down also, which means aligning with the medium term trend. Then go to the 10 minute time frame. Wait for the 10 minute time frame to start aligning with the hourly time frame. So you want okay if so here it is if the long-term term trend is bearish for us to sell we want the medium term trend to turn to turn from bullish to bearish that's what we want that's the signal higher time frame is bearish the signal will take place if there was a rally and okay the medium term trend is start going down that's the signal because the higher time frame is bearish. We will buy, we, we will sell, we will enter our bearish trade when the short term trend trend also we see a rally and it start also going down. Then we will sell. I hope I have managed here because uh, it's not easy for traders sometimes to understand long term trend, medium term trend, and short term term trend. All you have to understand is that the medium term trends are forming the long term trends and the short term trends are forming the medium term trend in order to buy we want the long term term trend to be bullish and we want both medium and short term to align with uh, okay the long term that's the best and market timing all right all right so though i was using the daily chart so the rule that we use daily chart hourly time frame for the signal and 10 minute time frame for the entry okay we'll, as i told you we're going to go over it now one is on the weekly chart so the weekly chart if you use the weekly chart as your long term a trend or higher time frame right your signal time frame can be either two hour time frame or four hour time frame. So both the two hour time frame or four hour time frame are forming the long term trend of the weekly chart. All right. But the short term trend for the weekly chart is the 15 minute time frame. So we will say that the 15 minute time frame, the mid 15 minute time frame is forming both the two hours and the four hour time frame trend. So for instance, if you go uh where is it to the four hour time frame how long have i been talking to you now all right 30 minutes okay 
My apologies to traders. This one has been a bit low now, but I'm, I'm trying to explain it to you. So now you're on the four hour time frame, you see here. All this move here, you see here. Those are the 50 minutes, the price action that are forming. All right. The four hour time frame. Okay, trend. See here. All this move down. Uh, this is a 50 minute time frame medium term trend of the forward time frame uh what am i talking about if you're the four if okay these are 50 minute time frame that are forming the four hour time frame long uh, trend so weekly chart long term term trend four hour time frame or two hour time frame for the signal and 15 minute time frame for the entry but the 15 minute time frame trends are forming the four hour time frame trends so all this move if you if you if you go on a 50 minute time frame, you will see that all these price actions, the recent one here, this one here, let me do it on the four hour time frame, you see now? And then I'm going to switch to the 50 minute time frame, you will see that it will make sense. Let's call that into orange. So I'll give you this one to you first, all right? So allow me to breathe in and breathe out. And I'll record another video. We will be talking about a trading setup. So I'll talk about long-term term trend, medium-term trend. In the next video, we'll be talking about trading setup. So trading setup on a higher time frame, signal on the signal time frame, entry on the entry time frame. What am I talking about? But the general rule, which is very, very important, is all about trend, all right? Because you want to buy when the financial instrument is trending. It's very important. So the channels are very important. You see what I've done here? This is on the four hour time frame. And now you see those are price action that are forming the four hour time frame candle C bar are from the 50 minute time frame. And this is how the rules that we see here. On the 50 minute, you see, it was in a rising channel here. It was in a declining channel. So that is it. That's what we are talking about. When the short term term trend is aligned with the medium term trend, and the medium term trend is aligning with the long term term trend. But understand this. All right, I will not do well on, no, I will leave it for now. I hope I have managed uh, to communicate clearly, all right, uh, what one needs to understand to master, okay, a top down trading method. So I will be recording four more videos. And one step at a time, if you have any more questions, all right, contact me directly on my Gmail. Don't contact me anywhere else because any email that I see on the Gmail, I give it, okay, the one that I give you, I don't want to give it to the public now because, uh, all right, and uh, contact me there, ask a question, I give priority to those emails and I check them straight away and I try to get back to you, all right? So thank you for watching. Thank you for asking an essential question because one cannot trade like a pro if one does not master a top-down trading method. It's a very big issue in the financial market. And I will spend a bit of time recording those videos, going step by step, okay, speaking slowly or clearly, try to explain to traders what is all about a top-down trading method. All right? Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.